What's up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome back to another pottery video. Today we're talking about Instagram. We're talking about my five favorite Instagram potters with a bonus. So I actually got six and I'm pumped about this. If you guys haven't been on Instagram lately, it is like full of so many amazing potters. It's like so many ideas, so the amazing ideas and like the people that are showing how they're doing stuff, the process of their pottery. It's an amazing time to be on Instagram. So if you're a potter, I would suggest getting on Instagram. Uh, comment below, tell me who your favorite Instagram potters are. And yeah, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram page, at John Schmidt Pottery, go follow me over there. But this one isn't about me. This one is about my five favorite with a bonus. And these are in no particular order. Um, they really are just people that I've kind of been following for a little while, people that I get inspiration from, the people that I think, hey, they are doing some sweet stuff. Okay, so let's get on the, get on the computer and look at this. The first one I have a mug from. First one is from Hammerly Ceramics. So this, if we look on here, his name is Kurt Hammerly, and he's from Colorado. This dude, I mean, check out, check out that mug, first of all. Now, check out his Instagram. So he does like 3D printing molds. So he's like, mostly a slip caster. He can also throw too, he has videos of, of him throwing. So if we look down here, like, so these are the bowls that he's gonna start making, and his colors are just amazing. So you can see all these gas fires, like this one right here. That's a him opening, so he does live Instagrams for hit when he unloads kilns, and then he does Etsy restocks too. So, just like amazing stuff. Ch definitely go check out his stuff. So yeah, that's the other thing, all these Instagram potters that I'm showing you, like they kind of range from, Kurt has like 100,000 followers, which is a lot, and it's all the way down from that, so. Huh, Kurt's got the most followers, but anyway, mold making, super cool. He kind of shows you his process. He even has some like financial stuff about pottery. So anyway, and he's like pretty new too, so that's a ton of followers in a pretty short amount of time. Okay, Kurt Hammerly, shout out to you. Way to go, man. Go check out Kurt, tell him John the Potter sent you. Okay, next one. Oh, this one. So, number two. Number two is Old Forge Creations, and I've been following Old Forge Creations for a while now, and he does some awesome stuff. And he's especially really good at showing the process. Like, he does a lot of slip, um, a lot of mostly wheel stuff, a lot of really cool vibrant glazes, lots of things on the wheel that show you where the glaze is gonna go. Like, if you look at this one, I made a pot like this, pretty much just based on him. So he has those little indentations in there and then the glaze kind of just like forms, like runs right through where he wants it to and does lots of stuff with slip. So he layers that slip on there and then uses a rib and just like this. So he's, he's definitely one of my favorite guys whenever he comes up with an Instagram post, it's like, oh man, this is sweet. So, Joe, I think his name is Joe Thompson from, he's from the UK. So, so far we have Colorado, UK. Isn't that cool? It's just amazing. And then the glaze on top of that stuff. So, Old Forge Creations on Instagram does some really cool Christmas trees. And his glazes are pretty similar to mine. I think that's why I'm kind of drawn to him. He does that spiral here too, like that. So, go check out Old Forge Creations. Tell him John the Potter sent you. Spiral, love that spiral. Okay, that's number two, Old Forge Creations. Number three. Whew. Number three is Sublime Pottery. So they have like 40,000 followers and like, so 
So these are all, this is just a lesson in photography and consistency. So look how similar, like all the pictures are taken. Just the grid of Instagram looks really, really good together. So these glazes are amazing. And obviously you can see some similarities to like what I kind of try to achieve in my glazes. This one looks kind of like my sea green glaze right there. But I just, this is, these are amazing pictures, amazing pots. So they do, Sublime does also Etsy restocks. She, I think her name is Amanda. So it's always fun to, to scroll through someone's Instagram page and then you can get really down to different parts where they were kind of still figuring out like what they wanted to do. You can see how the grid has changed over time. But anyway, super good pictures, super good pottery. Yeah, go check out Sublime Pottery on Instagram. Tell them John the Potter sent you. Okay, next one, Whew, number four. Number four, I, I don't know how I found this one. Um, Oddball of Clay, I, I just really like that name. So she, small batch Georgia Potter with wandering feet and a decent camera. So I just really like her page because it's similar to mine where I like to take pictures outside on different things with lots of texture and trees and stuff. And so she does the same thing with lots of drips too. You can see like how much she loves the drips coming down, which obviously I love that too. So yeah, super cool, really cool pottery, really cool. You can tell that she's got a great eye for photography, great eye for uh, photos. They've got a great website too. I looked at their website a lot when I was kind of redesigning mine. Like look at, I mean, I just love the, in the background there. The... Super cool. So I really like Oddball Pottery. Go check out Oddball, A-U-D, Oddball Pottery on Instagram. Tell her that John the Potter sent you. Super cool. Okay, number four. <laughs> number four is a Minnesotan potter. Uh, you may have seen, he's had a couple videos on Facebook that go crazy. Um, and he's from Egan, so not too far from here. I really, really, really like his style. It's somewhat similar to mine, but he does a lot of slip, kind of similar to Old Forge Creations does a lot of videos about his stuff, his how-to stuff. Amazing colors and glazes. So, really, really like his stuff. Here, let's pull up just a, one of his quick videos. So yeah, if you've ever seen Steven Showalter, that's his name, Steven Showalter. Ooh, a little music there. So then he puts that slip on, uses a rib, to do a little spiral. He's just, he's the slip, the slip on top of the throne stuff. He's a, he's a beast. So 31,000 followers. Yeah, that's a lot. And he's a, he's a Minnesota guy. So that was number five. All right, that brings us to our bonus Instagram page that we're talking about. Spinning glory. So she has 8,000 followers and she, I don't know, I'm, I, again, I don't know how I found all these, but these are just the ones that I like I'm drawn to. And so she does a lot of videos of her throwing and it's like really good. I mean, I don't know if she's using just an iPhone or a DSLR camera or whatever, but all the, I mean, look in the back there, it doesn't look like it's real, but it's like a background. So yeah, her throwing videos are just really, really good. And her pottery is super cool too. And she, like me, is like, super pumped about everything and got a great personality. So I love, and the stories too, like her, she does a lot of Instagram stories and I like watching those too. So yeah, that's number six. She's the bonus, the bonus one. So there you have it. Those are my five favorite Instagram potters right now. It doesn't mean that in a year it'll all be the same, but those are, those are my faves. Hammerly, Hammerly Ceramics from Colorado, Old Forge Creations from the UK. Sublime Pottery, I forgot where Sublime was from. Oddball from Georgia. Steven Showalter from Minnesota. Steven Showalter, I want to I want to come do a video with him, about him. So if you somehow, go tell him that John the Potter wants to make a video about him. Go over to his Instagram page and tell him that. And then the, uh, the bonus, 
spinning glory. So that's it. If you haven't if you haven't seen the Potters on Instagram lately, I would definitely recommend checking it out. You can learn a lot. It's not quite as detailed as like looking watching YouTubers, but you really can get a lot of inspiration, a lot of ideas. And it's just a helpful community to like help each other out. Like old Joe Thompson at Old Forge Creations, I tagged him in a story that I did that had a piece that was pretty similar to his. And he was like, hey, that looks great, man. I, I've watched your YouTube videos. And so that was really cool. But yeah, I definitely recommend getting on Instagram. It's very helpful. It's just a social media platform that's really based around visual arts and everything that we do as potters is very visual and so I would super appreciate if you guys go if you guys do go check out these Instagrammers like let them know that John the Potter sent you cuz I love for them to check out my this video and see that they got picked as one of my five six favorite potters on Instagram yeah that's it that's it for this video guys thanks so much for joining me appreciate it and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already give me drop me a comment like share uh, Patreon, smash that bell button. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Kurt Hammerly. Love my mug.